Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Wool, a natural fiber with a rich history, has been a staple in the textile industry for thousands of years. Its warmth, durability, and versatility make it a preferred material for clothing, upholstery, and even insulation. But before it can be transformed into the cozy sweaters and fine fabrics we know and love, wool must undergo a meticulous processing journey. This journey, which begins with shearing and ends with the creation of finished textiles, involves several intricate steps. Each step plays a critical role in ensuring that the wool is of the highest quality, ready to be spun into yarn and woven into fabric. Understanding this process not only highlights the craftsmanship involved, but also deepens our appreciation for the wool products we often take for granted. The process begins with shearing, the act of removing wool from the sheep. This is typically done once a year, usually in the spring, when the sheep's fleece has reached its fullest. Professional shearers use electric clippers to remove the wool in a single piece, a skillful task that requires both speed and precision to avoid injuring the animal. The wool, once removed, is called a fleece, and a single sheep can produce anywhere from 6 to 10 pounds of wool annually. After shearing, the fleece is often skirted, a process where the wool from the lower legs, belly, and tail, which is usually the dirtiest and least desirable, is removed. This ensures that only the highest quality wool moves forward in the processing journey. Next comes the washing or scouring of the wool. Raw wool is filled with contaminants like dirt, sweat, also known as suint, and natural oils such as lanolin. To clean the wool, it is submerged in a series of warm water baths with gentle detergents. This washing process not only removes impurities, but also preserves the natural properties of the wool. The water temperature and detergent concentration must be carefully controlled to avoid felting, a process where wool fibers become matted together. The lanolin removed during scouring is often collected and purified for use in various cosmetic and pharmaceutical products, highlighting the sustainable nature of wool processing. After scouring, the wool is rinsed thoroughly and dried, ready for the next step. Once the wool is clean, it undergoes carding, a mechanical process that disentangles and aligns the fibers. The wool is passed through a series of wire-toothed rollers, which separate the fibers and lay them parallel to each other. This step is crucial for producing a smooth, even yarn. During carding, the wool is also blended, where fibers of different qualities or from different sources are mixed to achieve a uniform product. The result of carding is a continuous web of wool, which is then divided into narrow strips called slivers. These slivers are ready to be spun into yarn or further processed depending on the desired end product. Spinning is the process that transforms the carded wool into yarn. Traditionally, this was done by hand using a spinning wheel, but modern mills use sophisticated machines to spin the wool at high speeds. During spinning, the wool fibers are drawn out and twisted together, creating a strong, cohesive thread. The degree of twist determines the thickness and texture of the yarn. For instance, a tighter twist produces a finer, smoother yarn, while a looser twist results in a bulkier, softer yarn. The spun yarn can be left in its natural color or dyed in a wide range of hues, depending on the intended use. After spinning, the yarn is often plied, where two or more strands are twisted together to create a thicker, more durable yarn. Dyeing can occur at various stages of wool processing, depending on the desired effect. Wool can be dyed in the fleece before spinning, in the yarn after spinning, or even as a finished fabric. Each method offers different advantages. Dyeing the fleece allows for a heathered or mixed color effect, as different shades of wool blend during spinning. Dyeing the yarn offers more control over the color consistency, while dyeing the finished fabric allows for patterns and prints to be applied. Wool is known for its ability to absorb and retain dye, resulting in vibrant, long-lasting colors. Natural dyes from plants, insects, and minerals have been used historically, 
though modern synthetic dyes offer a broader spectrum of colors and greater color fastness. Once the wool has been spun into yarn, it can be woven or knitted into fabric. Weaving involves interlacing two sets of yarns at right angles to create a fabric, while knitting involves interlooping yarns to create a flexible, stretchable fabric. Wool's natural elasticity makes it particularly well-suited for knitting, producing garments that can stretch without losing shape. Woven wool fabrics, on the other hand, tend to be more structured and are often used for suiting, coats, and upholstery. The type of weave or knit used can significantly affect the texture, weight, and drape of the final fabric. After weaving or knitting, the fabric undergoes finishing processes to enhance its appearance and performance. These processes can include fulling, where the fabric is cleaned and shrunk to make it denser, and napping, where the fabric surface is brushed to raise a soft, fuzzy texture. The final steps in wool processing involve inspection, cutting, and assembly into finished products. Quality control is a critical phase where the fabric is carefully examined for any defects, such as uneven weave, loose threads, or inconsistent dyeing. Any flaws are either corrected or the affected sections are removed. The fabric may also undergo additional treatments, such as waterproofing or mothproofing, to enhance its durability and suitability for specific uses. Once the fabric passes inspection, it is ready to be cut according to patterns for garments, upholstery, or other textile products. Skilled workers use precise tools and machines to cut the fabric, ensuring minimal waste and maximum efficiency. The cut pieces are then sewn together to create the final product. In garment production, this involves stitching the pieces together, adding zippers, buttons, or other fasteners, and performing any additional tailoring needed to achieve the desired fit and finish. For other woolen products, such as blankets or rugs, the assembly process might involve different techniques, such as binding the edges or adding decorative elements. Once assembled, the products are given a final inspection to ensure they meet quality standards before being packaged and sent out to retailers or directly to consumers. Wool processing is a labor-intensive journey that transforms a raw material into a versatile, high-quality product. Each step, from shearing to spinning, weaving to finishing, plays a crucial role in determining the final characteristics of the wool. The care and craftsmanship involved in this process are a testament to wool's enduring value as a natural fiber. Its ability to provide warmth, comfort and durability combined with its renewable and biodegradable nature makes wool an exceptional choice in a wide range of applications. Whether it's the luxurious softness of a cashmere sweater, the durability of a woolen rug, or the timeless elegance of a tailored wool coat, the journey from fleece to fabric is a remarkable example of human ingenuity and the enduring appeal of natural materials. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.